Okay, next question is from Carissa. Carissa says, I am just five weeks pregnant. Yay, congratulations, that's so awesome. And I don't have my first doctor's appointment until this weekend. Okay, so she you just had your doctor's appointment, so I'm a little behind you, but let's answer your question anyway, and then I wanna know how your doctor appointment went. I have been working out and eating clean for a couple of years now, so I plan to work out through my entire pregnancy, but everything I read contradicts the last thing I read. I know every person and every pregnancy is different. I know I need to listen to my body. Can I take her aminos and what exercises and moves can I do? Whatever you were doing prior to becoming pregnant, you can still do until you feel like it's hurting, it's not comfortable, it's unsafe. Hurting and uncomfortable is like your joints hurt, your muscles hurt too bad, things are stretching too far, your muscles are tighter than they were before you were pregnant, ligaments, joints, all of that stuff gets really screwed up while you're pregnant. So what I did is I just really listened to my body. You know, I used to just go in there and just start my squats or do some bench step ups. And I noticed that I would just feel like a really sharp pain in my knees. So I just stopped because the last thing I wanted to do was have 20 pound dumbbells in my hands and standing up on one leg on a bench while I'm pregnant, okay? That's unsafe, <laughs> that's uncomfortable. And that's, you know, when you start feeling things like that happening, you just make a choice for you and your baby to pick a different exercise or find a different situation. So everything to me during pregnancy is common sense, don't start anything new. You were exercising and eating great for a couple years before this, so just keep going. Listen to your body, you know everything, you said everything. What exercises and moves can you do? Keep doing the same moves you were doing before pregnancy until you feel like you shouldn't be doing them anymore, until it feels like it hurts and you don't wanna do it and it's uncomfortable or an unsafe situation. Can you take her aminos? I'm not your doctor, I can't tell you to, all I can do is tell you that I did. So I took Extend, that's the branch chain amino acids I took while I was pregnant. I took the NLA for her aminos. There's just a little bit of beta alanine in the her aminos and I couldn't find any really solid research on beta alanine during pregnancy. So I went from using aminos all day long. When I'm not pregnant, I drink aminos in my water all day long. And then all I had was her aminos when I found out I was pregnant in the first part of my pregnancy. So instead of using it all day long until I was done kind of researching it and asking my doctor, I would just put one scoop of her aminos in my water during my workouts because it helps you recover, it helps protect your muscle, and it gives you a little bit of energy, so I really liked that. I kind of used it for my pre-workout since while I was pregnant, you can't take pre-workout. I would have like a little cup of coffee and a scoop of her aminos, and that was my pre-workout all during pregnancy and also during nursing. That's what I did. And then if I ever felt a little bit uncomfortable because I couldn't find any really solid answers about the beta alanine, I would take, I think the brand is Cyvation, S-C-I-Vation, and it was Extend. But you know, every woman is different. All of those aminos have artificial flavors in them. Some women, that's not their cup of tea during pregnancy and nursing. I didn't mind it at all, and I have a very perfect happy, healthy baby and had a perfect pregnancy. So um, those things I was cool with. I just didn't like load them up all day long. I don't know, that's what I did. So you need to do what's right for you. You need to discuss things with your doctor. You're, you're gonna have either a doctor that's like, no, you can't take anything. Or you'll have a doctor like I had that's like, you know, I can't really tell you yes or no, but I'm looking at the label and it looks pretty good to me. So if you wanna keep doing it, you can keep doing it if you feel comfortable. That's kind of the personality my doctor had, which I thought was pretty awesome for somebody like me who was, you know, fit and wanted to keep taking a couple of supplements and wanted to keep lifting and exercising. I would never have a doctor that was like, you can't exercise during pregnancy. I've gotten so many emails that say that, or even social media comments if I post a during pregnancy if I posted a, a workout or an exercise at the gym, there were so many comments that were like, you shouldn't be exercising during pregnancy. I wanted to like reach through my phone and like slap those people. Get out of here. Anyway, keep doing what you're doing. Keep lifting until you feel like you need to do something else. And when you feel like you can't lift anymore, if you get to that point, yoga is perfect. Walking is perfect. Walk up a hill. 
just do things that feel good and just keep moving. That's my best advice. People always ask me how I got into such good shape after pregnancy so quickly and it wasn't that hard. The hardest part was being really fit before pregnancy and staying really fit during pregnancy. And then I had a baby and got back to my routine as soon as I was cleared and ready to go. And a couple of months later, I was back to normal. I know that's really awesome and amazing, but it's not because I busted my ass so hard to work off all of the baby weight. It's because I was really fit and healthy going in and I was really fit and healthy during. So that's my advice, but I'm really happy for you. I hope and pray that you had a doctor's appointment over this weekend where she or he told you that you could keep doing fitness. Please get back to me and let me know. And I wish you the most healthiest, happiest pregnancy ever. Thanks girls, have a great night, bye.